All right, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Makakwadash. Double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this true peace, love, and salutation unto the hopeful elect kings and priests who are out there bringing out this word in sincerity and in truth and hopes of salvation at Yahweh Shai's return. And likewise, Shalom unto the sisters who are out there listening and learning and the little ones who are also in hopes of salvation who are all a part of the elect when Yahweh Shai returns. Shalom to all you brothers and sisters who are out there. Uh, Brother Amawang from the Great Millstone Branch of Los Angeles, and I'm back here uh, with another lesson. Lord's will to edify the elect. Um, today's date is February 1st, um, 2020, uh, Monday, uh, 2.44 p.m. The name of this lesson uh, will be called Look Up, Our Salvation is Nigh. I um, have an article that I'd like to briefly share uh, of what um, just uh, recently happened last week. A few days, uh, a few days apart ago, um, of a of a UFO sighting, or as you brothers and sisters can see here, as the title says, it says alleged UFO sighting, clear shots of the mothership out. So like your um, alleged UFO sighting, clear shots of the mothership on outskirts of LA. You know, this is just one of many. You know, and and, and one of many multitudes of uh, chariots that the heavenly father has in preparation to be revealed man because Yahweh Shah is about to come with the multitudes and multitudes of angels look at that you know this is our salvation this is our ticket you know from, from out of here when this place gets set on uh, fire man all right with the world known as uh with the world known as hell and a lake of fire well when that happens by this um I see by these ICBM missiles all right, and these chariots, which is going to uh, ignite that fire. Well, you're going to have the elect be beamed up in these things and have an escape from it. So our our salvation drive now, you got the whole world in the uproar of the things that are happening. And Yahweh Shai said, when these things be, uh, begin to happen, look up for your salvation drive now. So like, I don't want to open up with that first. I want to open up with Zechariah. I'm going to end it with that one. You know, because this is what the world sees. And what's being reported around the world is uh, damnation unto the wicked, man. And Esau sees this, and he has his uh, guardians, his sixth uh, branch of military that he has prepared to fight the Lord. And that's all in prophecy. So let's get into it. This is Zechariah, the fifth chapter, starting at the first verse. It says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. And he said unto me, What seest thou? And I answered and said, I see a flying roll. The length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof is 20 cu cubits. And this is what we see here. When the Bible goes, speaks about a flying roll, it's describing this. Okay. Uh, a cloud. Okay. Um, uh, what else? Uh, a cloud and a, a flying roll. This is what this is describing. All right. Because there's different shapes and size and forms. All right. That, that they can expand, despand shape uh reach uh shape in all types of ways but it goes on to say verse three then said he unto me this is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth for everyone that still is shall be cut off as on this side according to it and everyone that swear shall be cut off as on that side according to it and i will bring it forth saith the lord of hosts and it shall enter into the house of the thief and into the house of him that swear falsely by my name and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. And these chariots will exactly do that. And it has entered into the house of the thief. thief. And, they, and, they will, and there will be an, uh, an, an invasion, man. All right, because once those missiles are shot, Yahweh Shah is going to reveal itself, man. All right, all these nations that is, that is uh, in preparation for this war, that they think that they're about to have, trying to think there's up, they up next. You know, this great war that's that's about to happen that America is orchestrating, you know, these elites. Well, through the midst of all that action, Yahweh Shah is going to show up with the multitudes of angels, man. And this is just one of many. OK, what what this is, this is just one of many. Where is that at? <laughs> you know. Get that again, man. Check that out, man. Uh, you just gotta just, like just wow man how how many times does this gotta keep keep coming out man you know just blatant just out there man now let's um it's like y'all didn't even uh i started up with some of these scriptures but let's read some of the article 
You know, I forgot about this here. Now, Rich, I'm not going to read too much of it, but it says, we got another UFO sighting on our hands here in LA, folks, but this one stands alone as it offers some of the best clear shots we have, we have seen of what appears, well, you, you make the call. An eyewitness shot these photos last Saturday while heading south of the 101 freeway just outside of the Thousand Oaks as she was approaching Westlake Village around sunset. We're told she was on her phone when she saw this thing hovering in the sky, flying in the same direction as she was heading with a group of lights trailing behind it. You, you can see the lights in the background too, you know? It says uh, the eyewitness, eyewitnesses say she shot three consecutive photos as quickly as she could. And as, and as you can see, the unidentified objects appear to have changed positions, both tilting ever so slightly and moving to a new spot in the sky. We're told this UFO was only visible for a few seconds before it literally vanished into thin air. You know? So look, at there's another uh, angle right here. Look at that, man. Whew. Look up for your salvation draw of nine, man. We about to get saved out of here, man. Lord willing, we are, the, we are that number, man. This is what... This is... Man, and, and, and Donald Trump, before he left office, he said that before he leaves, he wanted to um, have um, the FBI um, unleash uh, all the uh, documents of, uh, of this uh, classified uh, information on the chariots, you know? Because we're in that time. He saw us revealing... It's all out there. You know, second, let's, let's read this here. Second Edges 13 and 1. Um, yeah, let's read this. This is Second Edges 13 and 1. And it came to pass that the seven days I dreamed a dream by night. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, and it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. And when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen unto him. This is talking about Yahweh Shai when he comes with the multitudes of angels. Okay, let's get that in uh, Revelations. Um, we finished that in uh, Zechariah. Um, yeah, we finished that. Revelations 1 and 7. This is Revelations 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds, and every eye shall see him, and they also which pierced him, and all kindreds of the earth shall well because of him, even so are mine. The clouds represents the chariots, and every eye shall see him, which Ezra saw in this uh, vision here in the third uh, verse in the 13th chapter. Okay, all things tremble that were seen unto him. Everybody is going to well when they see Yahweh and the angels. Okay? Because all the hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him, like Jews said, they're going to be convinced to know, like, damn, our whole life we believed um, God was white. You know, all of a sudden he's a so-called black man and his son and his angels, different shades of uh, brown. And, and the president, I forgot who said that, um, what if we were to um, come to find out that God was black and how we treated the blacks of all life? How would God feel about that? He'll feel about us. I forgot who said that, but uh, let me continue on reading. But this is what the world is about to witness. You know, Yahweh Shah's return. Verse 4 And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, all they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth felleth when it filleth the fire, which is that concentrated fire that these chariots are going to send, send out. All right. He goes on to say, and after this, I beheld and lo, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the heaven to subdue the men that came out of the sea, which is Yahweh Shai and all these other nations in World War Three. Right. But I beheld and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew upon it. Right. And, 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 and what we see here, you know, although I keep jumping back and forth to just that one particular chariot, that's just one of many. You know, the, the one that Yahweh Shah is going to come with, it, it, it's going to be massive, man. You know, like Ezra, as Ezra says here, but verse 7, But I would have seen the region, our place whereof the hill was graven, and I could not. You know, and, and, I, and you know what makes me think of this? If, if you ever take a trip to Arizona, when you go into Arizona, Arizona is known for having its, uh, having big mountain ranges circled around you. And when you look at the mountain ranges uh, coming into arizona it's like damn where does it stop how do you like it's like it can rise over you type shit <coughs> the best way i can explain it and this is what ezra is saying like <coughs> so like you like it's like a great mountain mountain like but he, he he couldn't even see where it came out of 
you know. Let's read it again, verse 7. But I would have seen the region or the place where the hill was graven, and I could not. And after this I beheld, and lo, all they which were gathered together to subdue him were sore afraid, and yet there is fight. You know, I could keep reading, man. I could keep reading. Keep reading that. But I'm going to just, you know, stop for the sake of time because I don't intend to make the lesson too long. You know, I know I'm over the, all over the place, but it is what it is. You know, the chariots are here, man. Our salvation is nearer than what we believe, man. Mark 13 and 24. But in those days after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. And the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that, that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and great glory. See how I said clouds. It's plural. Not just a cloud. Multiple clouds. As, as, the, most, as, the, as the Lord said, his strength is in the clouds, which is in the chariots. I believe that's in Psalms of 68 chapter. Okay. And this is how the Lord is coming to judge the world. By his son. With the angels. Okay. When those missiles were shot, that's when everything was. Uh, the Lord is going to be revealed. These angels is going to manifest themselves to be uh, what they came to show. To be that curse that go forth over the earth to enter into the house of the thief, the thief man. World War. World War. Uh, what is it? Not World War Z. World War, War Z to War to War to man with Tom Cruise. Picture that, you know, happening when you read this. Uh, verse 27. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together his elect from the four winds for the utmost parts of the earth to the utmost from the uttermost parts of the earth to the uttermost parts of heaven. See, the Lord is going to fetch us, man. Like like you send a dog. You know, you play and fetch with the dog, whatever type of item you use for it to to to, to bait and him to get, uh, go get. Well, that's what the Lord is going to do when he come to get us, man. He's going to fetch us from where we've been scattered, man, by sending Yahweh Shai. All right, with these angels, man. Okay, with the angels, because this is our salvation and it's nearer than what we believe, you know. And we believe it's close, you know. The Lord just keep, keep, keep confirming our faith by these signs, man. This is Luke 21 and 28. And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up for your and lift up your heads for your redemption jar of nine. All right, let's look up this word redemption. Start we this is in the time to look up and not look down, man. Because this is how the, the only way is up, man. Why, why would you keep your head down? It's the only way is up out of here. You we this place is about to get set on fire, man. Straight up. From the Greek G629, a releasing affected by payment of ransom. And Yahweh, that's what Yahweh Shai did. He said, I am the ransom for many. The many being the elect. He paid that with his own blood. And the elect has that redemption. That Thawrai exemption from judgment that's about to happen. Redemption, deliverance, deliberation procured by the payment of a ransom. You know, Yahweh Shai was that ransom. And he's coming and he's coming to save his elect, man. It's his father's great pleasure to give us the kingdoms. But it starts with the people first. So the Lord has to save us. Lord willing, we we are that 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 number, man. You know, but call Allah Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Akakodash.